Hey everybody, my name is Daniel Alonzo and I'm here with Training for Champions. I'm so excited to be here. I've, I've been with Primerica now for 20 years. Never been more excited, never been more fired up about the future and where we're going as a company. And today what I want to do is I want to talk to you a little bit about why Primerica? Why should we say yes to Primerica? Maybe a couple of these ideas may, may help you as you're recruiting across the kitchen table. Um, but the one thing that I always like to tell people about is that we're getting a real world and financial education when we're coming into Primerica. Primerica not only is giving us an opportunity to make a lot of money, to be able to make some part-time income, maybe uh, you know, make a major career change, but we're getting an education. You know, there's a lot of people in the world that they make a lot of money, but they don't know what to do with that money. In Primerica, not only can you make a lot of money, but now you're gonna get the education to know what to do with that money so that you and your family can get financially independent. Another little idea uh, that you might wanna th think about is that you get to share your dreams with a circle of people that want to push you up, that want to see you become successful, see you do well, not, not just make a bunch of money, but build a life, a dream life with a bunch of people that care about your success, that want to see you successful. The other thing is, is be able to go on awesome world-class trips and vacations and places all around the world in all these years I can't tell you how many places I mean literally you know um, you know I think we've been on 40 or 50 trips with Primerica now because we joined Primerica because we worked hard we did our part we, we, we you know got the job done and we were able to become uh, you know um, you know be able to live the dream with Primerica and check this out Primerica is what's called a win-win situation. If I can help you become successful, I become successful. You know, how about, uh, you know, learn leadership skills, maybe communication skills. What's that worth? For the price of $99, you get an opportunity to work with multimillionaires. You get an opportunity to learn from some of the most successful people in American business today. How about communication skills? We're gonna teach you how to be a better communicator. We're gonna teach you how to uh, you know, get your point across a little bit better. We're gonna, we're gonna teach you how to um, you know, influence others maybe a little bit better in your life. So you know what? Regardless of what happens to you in Primerica, nobody can ever take those skills away. Those are skills that you're gonna be able to take with you forever and ever. You know, how about, how about you know, as you communicate through life, how much more effective can you be? Even in the job that you might have right now, you might be working part-time in Primerica, but, but because of what you've learned in Primerica, we can help you become more successful. How about feel great about what you do? You know, one of the cool things about Primerica is we're never gonna ask you to market a product that's not good for people, that's not good for families. We're proud of what we do. We will only do what's right 100% of the time. You know, my mom is my client, my father is my client, my brother, my sister, my aunt, my uncle, my neighbor, my best friend. These people are my clients because we do what's right and we feel great about that. And so can you. Uh, how about uh, you know, build a business where men and women can excel? You can build a business that, that is unlimited opportunity regardless of your background, uh, you know, re re regardless of where you were born, regardless of what kind of accent you might have. You know, re regardless, look, we, we got tall people making it big in Primerica, and, and you know, thank God they let short people make it in Primerica as well. But we all got a chance. We don't care what, you know, what, what, what kind of fancy degrees you have in your life. We don't care about any of that crap. We care about your heart. We care about your desire. We care about the fact that you want to be somebody, that you want to make a difference with your life. We care about the fact that you're going to do the right thing for those clients and those new recruits out there. And hey, look, and the last thing that I want to make sure you completely understand, this is a huge benefit to being a part of Primerica, is ownership. Ownership gives you the ability, the opportunity, the chance to one day own your code number. 
So as you qualify to become an owner in Primerica, you have the ability one day to be able to sell your business. You know, God forbid something happened to me and I got sick. God forbid something happened to me and I passed away. My family will be forever taken care of financially because of ownership. So my business gets to get passed on down the, the, the line to my family because I've qualified for that precious thing called ownership. Our, today our business is worth millions and millions of dollars because of ownership. Ain't that something? Ain't that exciting that you're a part of a business that you could get a real world financial and business education where you can build a circle of friends that share your dreams and live an amazing life. Hey, you can go on world class trips and vacations, learn leadership skills, communication skills, feel great about what you do. Feel, feel awesome about the, the, the good things that we can help our communities with. The, the areas of finance, of insurance, we can really make a difference. How, how about build a business where, look, man or woman, we got 50% of Primerica right now. 55% of uh, people coming in Primerica are women. Women today are getting paid less in society just because they're a woman. That is unfair and that's wrong. And be, but, but in Primerica, that's not the way it works. In Primerica, man or woman, you can make as much money as you want to make. You can be all that you really, truly want to be because of your hard work, because of your dedication, because of your desire to want to change your family's life forever. And then, of course, ownership. What a business. What a life. I encourage you. Do all that you can do, but do it now. Here's a tip. Make sure that your spouse is involved. My husband and I have been in this business together for a while and both of us have different personalities. He has certain strengths that I have, some weaknesses that he has that I'm more strong at. Um, I'm a little soft, he's a little bit tough, but together we're unstoppable. And I think if you are sure of what your roles are, you can build this thing together and two people going the same direction is unstoppable. Hello, my name is Manal Masood and welcome to Training for Champions. Today I want to talk to you guys about mental toughness, which is a very, very important piece into building our Primerica business. See, when you're building your Primerica business, we're in business for ourselves, but not by ourselves. Uh, we're very uh, honored and, and privileged to have coaches and mentors around us that are teaching us and showing us by example how to build this business and uh, laying it in front of us so we can follow their footsteps on how to build our business. But at the end of the day, uh, you are the CEO to your business. You do wear a lot of different hats. You have to be able to multitask. You have to be able to wear all these different hats from recruiting a brand new teammate into the team to training that person to knowing how to build relationships with that person to being able to do the back end uh, uh, work of the business from paperwork to licensing to pending live. Uh, you have to be able to do all of it. You have to be able to inspire your team, to be a closer, to be in the field and do it all and be successful at the end of the day. Not necessarily we're good at everything all at once, but the beauty about it is that you come here and you learn and you pick up here and there. Um, and, and it's little pieces, it's like a big puzzle that you learn and as you go, by the end of the day, you're gonna start putting these pieces and everything that you learn into one big picture and that's how as time goes by you're building that mental toughness that you need it all comes by practice it all comes by experience it all comes by by uh, by error we try to do something it doesn't work this way then you try to figure it out some other way and that's how you figure out okay that's what not to do that's the best way to do this and that so Mental toughness is not something that you're born with. It's not a gift that, oh, oh, this person is mentally tough, this person's not. It doesn't work that way. It's everything that happens to you in life, everything that happens to you in business, and what you learn from it, and how fast do you bounce back up. It's not how many times you fall down. It's how many times you can jump back up on your feet, just 
take the dust off and move and move forward. Once you start doing these little things, things are gonna happen to you instead of saying, oh, why me? Say, try me. If things are happening to you, it's for a reason. It's because you're destined for something great. And this is just a preparation for your destiny. Embrace, embrace uh, the challenges, because that's only building you for something great. The toughest moments in your life, the darkest moments in your life, I promise they're the biggest blessing to your life. See, uh, three years ago, I was got diagnosed with uh, lymphoma and it was growing aggressively and it wasn't the, the brightest time of my life at the time, but I knew if that was on my plate, it's because I was prepared to deal with it. And whatever is on your plate right now, it's because you're in the right time for you to deal with it. Embrace it, learn from it, figure out a way out of it. If you're going through adversity, don't just uh, uh, put a camp and, and, and a tent and stay there. Just work your way out of there, learn from it, figure out a way. And the beauty about it is that one day, somebody on your team is gonna go through the same thing that you're going through, and you're gonna be able to look at that person in the eye and say, I've been there, I've done there, done that, and that's exactly what I did to get out of it. So just, it's an amazing business, it's a fun business. Uh, um, we learn from all these coaches. We're blessed to have amazing coaches in our lives, Mario and Franny Arizon, and we look up to them in every way by them leading by example. And, and, and the minute that some adversity hit us, Mario just looks at us and he smiles and says, great, because that's now going to show me your true colors. Now that's going to show me how tough you are. And same thing, what, when that happened to us and we were devastated at the moment, and we're going through chemotherapy and all these things and we didn't know how we're gonna get out of it. The only thing that Tony and I knew is that we don't know how, but we're getting out of it. And one day we're gonna be able to talk about it and teach others and inspire others on how to do it. And it's all by mental toughness. It's all by what we learned here in the business. The mental toughness that you need to build your Primerica business, you apply it for your normal life you apply it for, for any adversity coming your way and it's just gonna, it saved my life. It saved my life. Um, I remember we were in training one time listening to Coach Bill Whittle and he was talking about uh, compartmentalizing in your mind. And that helped me, that helped me to the extreme. Because what I was going through, everything that we go through, you have to wear different hats. You have to be dealing with a lot at one time. If let's say I'm at the office, I'm dealing with paperwork or uh, clients calling in or this I have to fix and that I have to fix. And then you'll be talking to an agent and then you have to work yourself on how to inspire that agent and get them in the field and do fast starts and book appointments. And then you move on and then you're in a different subject. Every subject has its own, needs its own energy. It needs its own mindset. You have to be clear on the task ahead so you're doing it 100%. By doing that, you put every task ahead in one compartment. You're done with it, you close it, and you move on. You don't carry one baggage on, of one compartment with you to the other one. Because if, if you do so, if you're carrying on everything throughout your whole day, there is no way you're gonna do all your tasks 100% complete. It, it's not gonna happen because of all that baggage. So focus on the task in hand, give it your best, do 100% on the task on hand, and that's gonna help you by just giving it your all and be the best at anything you do. Uh, this business is amazing, it taught us so much. Uh, just applying everything that you learn here to build your Primerica business, you're gonna be very, very successful. We're proud to be your teammates, let's build this thing big. Stay with us, more to come for Training for Champions. Here's a tip. One of the keys in Primerica is to make sure that your daily activity is consistent. One of the things that I would share with you is this. If you want to be very successful at Primerica, you want to be doing this. Three to four new names and numbers a day should be going on an ongoing list, written down, that you have on a piece of paper in front of you, there's something magical about writing names and numbers down. Where do you get these names and numbers from? It could be people that you went to high school with, people that you used to work with, people in uh, other community events, such as church, etc. You wanna put these names and numbers down on a list, and then you wanna set three to five appointments on a daily basis. This is a fundamentals business, and one of the best ways to win is to do the fundamentals, and that is three to five new names and numbers a day, three to five appointments a day, 
If you do that, I'll see you at the top. Hey, welcome Primerica. Welcome to Training for Champions. My name is Todd Casilli, Regional Vice President in uh, East Providence, Rhode Island. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about developing new markets when you have an office or a new base shop or you're just really trying to uh, maybe get a new area developed with uh, new recruits, get some business drummed up. So I'm, going to cover a couple, uh, so I'm going to cover a couple of ways that we've been uh, making community contacts and we've really been getting ourselves out there in the community and talking to people and just showing people what the opportunity is with Primerica. So uh, when, I, when it comes to prospecting, some of the things that our guys are doing, we're, we're talking to people in the community face to face. We're not cold calling people. You know, we're not doing any of those kinds of things. We, we feel like when you see people out in the community, you really get a good gauge of their body language, who they are, how they present themselves. And we've really been focusing on going after people that you know, are in the market, people with wedding rings, people that have, you know, jobs, they dress nice, they have a car, right? These are essentials in Primerica to be successful. So um, we've just been talking to people, giving an honest compliment. Hey, man, I really like uh, I really like that Red Sox hat. Did you get that at the stadium? Or did you pick it up at Lids? Where would you get that? Oh, I got it at Lids. Great. Hey, listen, I, real quick, you seem like a sharp guy, man. Um, my company's expanding out here. We're making as many community contacts as possible. I didn't know if you may be looking to make some extra income on the side or maybe even considering a change of the time and money were better. But our company's expanding. We're looking for some additional people. Would you ever consider doing anything maybe part-time on the side if the money were right? Well, what is it? It's finance and asset management. Do you have any experience with that? No, no, I don't. Well, great. We train from the ground up. Give me a name and number and I'll have someone give you a call. And uh, are, you, uh, are you 401 or are you 508? And you just look down in your paper and you don't pick your head up. And then you just wait for them to tell you the number. And then you shake their hand. My name is Todd Casilli. I'll definitely give you a call or somebody from the office will give you a call in the next day or two, okay? Hey, great meeting you, man. Have a great day. And so a lot of times when you're making these community contacts, people aren't really thinking they're going to leave their house that day looking for an opportunity. So you've got to really just make that, that human connection first and then you want to transition into maybe asking them if they would ever consider doing anything else part-time if the time and money were better. I mean, everybody's looking for something at least part-time. Think about the people that are out there right now struggling, just trying to pay their bills. Everybody, when they become aware of it, may consider doing something else. So another thing that we've been doing is say you run, a, say you run across somebody that's not interested, okay? So one of the programs that we have in Rhode Island, I'm not sure if it's always in your state or whatever, but... One of the programs we have in Rhode Island that's really been effective is the auto and home program. Uh, that, that program has been helping a lot of our clients to save and make money in their budget. Uh, definitely been a great way for us to lead in and get in some kitchen table appointments. So you can even transition to doing business with people in the community and gaining you know, an interest in that area because everybody is mandated in the state of Rhode Island at least to carry auto insurance uh, throughout, you know, throughout their driving year. So um, if I'm you know, in the community, hey sir, excuse me, are you from this area? Uh, yeah, what, what is it? Um, well, my company's expanding out in the area. I'm, I'm making community contacts, uh, you know, in the area. And I'm, I'm from Massachusetts. I'm not from this area. And uh, obviously, you seem like a sharp guy. You're well-dressed, well put together. Let me ask you a question. You, you wouldn't happen to know anybody like yourself, maybe looking for an opportunity to earn some income part-time, somebody that might be looking to do something on the side if the time and money were better. Uh, I can't really think of anybody, you know. Uh, well, what about you? I mean, would you ever consider doing something else? Uh, I have a really good job. I, I am sure, I mean, but if, you know, your, your boss would double your income, would you work an extra maybe 15 to 20 hours a week just to double your income at your current job, or are you making all the money that you need? No, I mean, well, no one's making all the money that they need, right? Well, no, that's right. So, would you ever take a look at doing something else? Well, what is it? It's finance and asset management. Do you have any experience with that? Yeah, no, that's not my cup of tea. I'm, I'm more like a, you know, trades guy. I'm, I'm a blue-collar worker. Hey, no problem. Well, listen, one other thing that our company is doing is we're helping people save money on their auto insurance, sometimes upwards to $400 a year on their policies. Would you ever consider maybe taking a look at your auto insurance? We have a lot of A-plus rated insurers. We're helping a lot of people out in that area. It's no cost to you, and it'll take us about 10 minutes to find out whether or not we can actually help you. Would you ever consider maybe taking a look at your auto insurance? When, when's the last time you did that? Oh, geez, uh, I don't know. It just renews, you know? Hey, well, my name's Todd Casilli. Oh, my name's Joe. Nice to meet you, Joe. Joe, let me grab your number. Here's my card, and now uh, let's we'll get in contact with each other. See if we can help you out. Fair enough? Yeah, sure. Joe, are you 401 or are you uh, 508? Oh, I'm 401. Okay. Yep. Great. I'll give you a call. Bam. So now 
you may not have a warm market. A lot of people in Primerica, they come into the business saying, hey, I don't really know anyone. We've all heard that, right? First of all, if they don't really know anyone, isn't Christmas gonna be pretty lonely for that person, right? So what we talk to people about is developing quick mini relationships. You're not pulling out the six page presentation. You're not sitting there doing the rule of 72 outside of Joe's gas and sip. What you're looking to do is create curiosity, gain interest, develop a rapport, identify somebody that you think might actually be or look the part of what you're looking for. And you can't judge, obviously, but you know, you, you kind of have a good gauge with people's body language, open-mindedness, receptiveness. And what your job is, is you're, you're there to create that mini relationship, that mini connection. Get the name and number, move away, and get, get them on the phone maybe a day or two, no more than 24 to 48 hours after you get that contact information. Because let's face it, names and numbers aren't like wine. They don't get better with age, do they? So what we need to do is we need to just go out and talk to more people, right? So uh, one last thing that I'll cover with you guys, and hopefully this helps you, is that when you're in an area, you really don't know an area. Sometimes it's good if you're really looking at office space. We looked at 50 different office locations before we signed a lease. And a lot of times you can get names and numbers just through the process. And you're excited. Sometimes if you have a fear of like, you know, talking to people or you're not really a strong prospector, even if it's not your office, let's say it's an RVP that you're working with and they're, they're planning on doing some expansion meetings in an area or maybe they're planning on maybe find a new location to branch out into or set up a, a smaller office location, you know, uh, outside of maybe where the hierarchy is or something to that effect. You can, you can draw off, you can draft off of that excitement, off of that newness, that pioneering spirit. You can definitely utilize that and you can talk to people. So you go look at vacated office spaces. You know, one thing I did as a regional leader, as a division leader, is I would go look at office spaces even before we had the contract, and I would look inside the window and I would envision what my office would like, look like inside that space, what we would actually have inside that space, selling myself the vision that one day we're gonna have our own location. One day it's gonna be ours. And so what we would do is we'd go in, we'd look at an office space legitimately, and then we'd find some good people in that shopping center or that plaza and say, hey, ma'am or sir, can I ask you a question? How is this area generally for business? Is it pretty busy? Uh, are we looking, you know, does it, does it have a good uh, volume? Is there a lot of visibility? Can you give me some of your insights? And then you start a conversation. Hey, well, look, our company's expanding in this area. You look very well put together, very professional, and obviously very helpful. You wouldn't happen to be keeping your options open for something maybe at least part-time or maybe something flexible you can fit around your full-time job or even considering a change if the time and money were better. And then they say, well, what is it? Of course, right? Or they say yes, or they say no. If they say no, move on. Don't, don't internalize it like, what's wrong with me? Is there something that happened in my childhood that makes me inferior in prospecting? Leave that alone. If they say yes, hey, well, look, I'll give you some more information. My name's Todd Casilli. You shake their hand and you exchange contact information. If you don't have a pen and paper, use the phone. Hey, let me, uh, let me plug in my phone, I'll shoot you a text or I'll give you a call. That way you have my contact information and we'll go from there, fair enough. And if they say, well, what is it? It's finance and asset management. Do you have any experience with that? Do you see how it's the same thing over and over? So once you get to a certain point, once you get to a, a, a pregnant moment in that conversation, you just make that transition and you ask them if they would ever do anything else, if the time and money were better, and then it's finance and asset management. Would you ever consider doing anything else if the time and money were right. And guys, look, we, we don't have it all figured out. There are people out there that have done it better, done it faster, but I'm telling you, we're so excited about where the company's going. What we have going on right now in Primerica, this company's expanding, and we've just got to get more people sold out to recruiting more people. This company's on an explosive tear right now. I'm so proud to be a teammate and uh, so, so grateful that they asked me to be this uh, part of this segment, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this segment of Training for Champions. Today, you've learned some incredible ideas and principles on how to build a world-class Primerica business. Now it's your time, now it's your chance to go make your dreams come true. You, you have to decide that this is your time, that this is your moment, this is your chance to make your dreams come true. I encourage you to do all that you can do to follow some of these ideas and principles to get to where you wanna go, to be who you wanna be, to make your life the greatest life ever. Do it now.